So now it will, the machine will mix the water, 200 microliter, with 400 microliter of plasma. So there will be a one third dilu dilution of the plasma. And mix it repeatedly. Thoroughly. Okay, that's the first tube that uh, is well mixed. All right, and we'll now eject the. Uh, it will dispense now. Uh, sorry, the. Uh, content of this mixed first tube into um, two wells of the 96 well plate which is waiting uh, on the um, plate of the of the spectrophotometer so after the mixing same thing for the second one An aliquot will be delivered to the well. In fact, it is, uh, you can see the three first well have been uh, not filled, but there is some water in it, and you can see it. It's a 160 microliter in each well. And same thing for the third one. Mixing. Okay, now the fourth one. You can see that every time the the arm picks up a tip, it gives uh, two small hits, so that the tip is uh, well fit into the plastic, uh, the white plastic cone. Otherwise, there could be some leakage. Now mixing again on the fourth one and back to the plate. Okay, now the Eight uh, wells have been uh, filled up with the mixture water plasma. The plate is going inside of the machine and it will be measured every two minutes for one hour. And this is what appears on the computer. Now we are reaching the end and uh, the plate will go out after one hour. This figure shows uh, the effect of uh, heparin and control uh, signals on blood coagulation. Coagulation is monitored by increased in optical density. The two steep curves on the left, black and uh, green, are uh, 
the effect of uh, the water signal and the heparin protamine signal respectively protamine being an inhibitor of heparin the two curves down which show a strong inhibition of uh, plasma coagulation are uh, practically superimposable. This effect is typical of the presence of heparin, except that there is no molecular heparin, but only the signal of it that has been played to the water then mixed with the plasma. On this final view, you are looking at the machine as it is in real life. It is uh, shielded behind an uh, iron uh, shield that encaged it completely so as to protect it from electromagnetic, unwanted electromagnetic fields. We have uh, two machines like that. Uh, the second one will be moved from uh, labs, labs to labs and we expect even to be able to buy a third one. One of them should be put in uh, a lab in the UK, the other one in the United States. And then uh, we expect these experiments to be replicated in uh, several uh, high-level uh, laboratories all over the world.